When traveling long distances, heavy seabirds fly close to the water surface in order to save energy. This improvement is based on a phenomenon called ground effect. If a flying surface approaches the ground, drag created at the wing tips is reduced, while ram air builds up below the wings which increases lift. The increase of lift and decrease of drag created by wing in ground effect improves performance by up to 250% compared to free flight. Airfish 1, as proof of the concept, flew 100 km an hour with 13 horsepower. Airfish 2, with reduced wingspan, operated in marinas like a boat. Airfish 3 was a prototype for a consumer oriented recreational vessel. As a result of our R&D work, those craft could be registered as ships, thus avoiding the higher manufacturing and operation costs borne by aircraft. In 1998, we received an order from Flightship to develop the 8-seat high-speed taxi vessel Airfish 8. Now called Flightship 8, this craft is going into production under our license. In cooperation with Germanische Lloyd, this is the first WIC craft to receive worldwide classification as a ship. And it is now registered for commercial passenger transportation. Normally, to take off from water requires substantially more power than needed in cruise flight. To overcome this problem, we developed the second generation ground effect craft, the patent protected Hoverwing. For takeoff, an air cushion is created under the hull by diverting some of the propeller string. The cushion carries approximately 80% of the craft's weight. This is used until the craft reaches takeoff speed when it makes a seamless transition to sea skimming ground effect mode. Sponsored by the German Ministry for R&D and with support of the Duisburg towing tank, the two-seat test craft Hoverwing 2VT was built and successfully tested during a 3000 km operation. This fulfills specifications derived from an 80-seat ferry craft. Hoverwing's flight is stable and safe over waves and automatically maintains its height without touching the water. They do not create seasickness or cause environmental damage through wash or wake. This kind of comfort is unknown in today's maritime transportation. For low speed situations like entering or leaving a harbor, a displacement mode is used. Using auxiliary drives, the Hoverwing 20 moves like a ship in the water. If needed, the wings can be folded up, for example, to pass through a lock. The step taxi mode is a kind of skimming on water, faster than the displacement mode, but not yet fast enough to fly. The aerodynamic lift that is already active at this point reduces the vehicle's weight on the water, causing less water impacts and thereby creating more comfort. This mode can be used for speeds up to 40 knots. At higher speed, the craft takes off fully from the water. With a speed of 90 knots, the air travel over water can be compared to that of a plane. However, the Hoverwing fuselage is designed as a wing with sufficient space to offer ship-like comfort. To avoid obstacles, the Hoverwing uses its extremely good maneuverability for safe operation in mixed traffic as well as its ability to jump to a height of about half a wingspan. Worldwide, there are many coastal areas that make the use of the ground effect technology seem necessary. It is ideal for high-speed use in river, estuary, coastal and inter-island transport. The potential can be illustrated using the Baltic Sea as an example. Today, there are more than 500 ports around the Baltic Sea. Most of them could be linked by Hoverwing to use them as multimodal transfer points in a trans-European network. The shrinking traveling time illustrates the big impact on the Baltic Sea and similar regions of the world. Such regions would no longer have a barrier to travel. An example of the advantage in coastal areas is the Aarhus-Copenhagen connection. On this route, Hoverwing takes only a fifth of traveling time of train or ship. It would also have the lowest travel cost.
Powerwing technology can be used for a vast spectrum of civilian and military applications in many markets and on all continents. It is the perfect way to complete the transport chain over water as it fits in between fast but expensive air travel and cheap but slow ship transportation.